Mm-hmm. I'm surprised the computer works though. Yeah, I'm impressed. It actually works. It's receiving. I'm it, didn't, uh, it, it must have crashed because of the whole OBJ thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> there was a whole bunch of stuff coming through it at once. Oh, let me adjust my chair. There we go. All right, <clears throat> we are apparently live. I think the hairless wonder is now running. Yeah, we're live. I just went. That's crazy. Yeah. How does that work? I don't know. I don't know. We what talking. Is live? I don't know what real live is. I don't know it. Yes, we're live. All right. So we got a pretty interesting. So Mike Trout just signed for like a gajillion dollars. Was that what it was? Pretty much. I mean, he roughly got an entire like uh, NASA space center. I think he got the entire GDP of Haiti. Maybe like more. Just, I think Maybe so. More. I think he could finance all of Haiti, and why would he want to? Yeah, 12 years, 430 million. That's 35 million annual. Like, yeah, he got paid. He's making more net profit than most corporations make. You know, he'll make more in one year than most of us will make in, or a couple of us will make combined in our entire lives. Yeah, and that's like our afterlives too. Like, you know. Yeah, like it will take me. Like if you're making a hundred thousand per year, it would take you three hundred and fifty years to make that. Yeah. Are they saying they can't? Can you talk a little bit real quick? All right. Let me talk into a microphone here. No. <laughs> no, that's fine. You're maxed up. Sweet. It's saying trees quiet. Mm. You're quiet. You're quiet. Hold on. Why is it doing this? Permissions. Um. Dumpster fire. Dumpster fire. There's no. at least one of these per episode, boys. Yep. Uh, voice and video. Output. How about that? Speak. Tree. Um, uh, I say. I don't know. I mean, I could try it like this. I don't know. What do you guys? Here we go. Is that here? Does that sound better yet? Can you all hear me? Oh, they're saying it's Yinzernet. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I, I don't know. I don't know. The last time you did it, uh, did you change anything with your mic itself? You sound fine over here. Yeah, like I mean, I what do you do from like over here? Is it like something? What did you do last time when? I did um, XSplit Broadcaster, and then what I did was uh, I had a volume lever, but it was just one. Mo- hmm. That's the only thing. Hmm. That's the only thing I can really think of right now. Hmm. But I think we should get into some Snapchats while uh, we figure out our technical issue. Yolo Swaggins, for $5, officially switching my NFL allegiances to Cleveland from Cincy. At least the Browns are trying. Uh, if, Did if, that do anything? Um, I don't know. I don't know. we got to ask the people. Here. Does it sound any different? I, was, I was mentioning some stuff no 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 i'm asking the crowd the ah the audience yeah stupid audience the internet at no they're saying you're still low the internet Hmm. okay um because like i don't understand because like everything's fun on my end i've had no connectivity issues i've had uh no I, i trust me you'd know if it was my side of the end you'd be like like going in and out Mm, I don't know what to do. I can't change your... I can't up your channel. Hmm. Um, Is there a way you can up, like, the general output? That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know what's going on. This is weird. Maybe try... Um, maybe you have it under a different, like, uh, speaker setting. Like, it could be instead of, like, the maybe... Uh, my is, like, a real tech engine. It could be under, like, a microphone that it could be under. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, hmm. How long would it take you to set up your board? <laughs> uh, 
couple minutes at minimum. Sounds like he's coming through your speakers. Maybe that's the problem. Hmm. Let me think here. Maybe it think. Could it be on my end? It's like my microphone's coming through Yeti. No, let me try. I'm going to have to. It was like speakers, output speakers, or speakers. Yeah, I mean, there'd be an issue if it were a microphone array. Like if I. No, I see what. It would be an echo. There's something wrong with my OBS. Hold on. I got to close it and yeah. start. Because you're hearing fine from your end, right? Usually do. For the love of God, do not blow a fucking lead. All right. I think we got it. Are we back? All right. Are we back? Hello? Can y'all hear me now? There it is. Yes. All right. I knew it. I just needed yeah. to restart OBS. There we go. OBS is weird. OBS I, I don't sucks. like that program. I'd rather use an XSplit. OBS I feel like I get sucks. a better broadcast. OBS is shit on a vine. I'm not a fan of OBS. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, like it's just like it's it's like uh, it's Audacity, but Audacity is at least usable. It's like yeah. a freeware program. This is shit. Promise if you want anything good, you got to pay. There, now I got it. Sorry about that. All right. So let's, the dumpster fire. Let now we're already six minutes behind, and we were talking about money and all of Haiti and shit. Now pretty much pretty about uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Back, and it was not a internet. It was um, the internet via means of uh, his streaming software. So yes. it, that technically could be a internet situation. We need to start. With this stream needs to get bigger so we can pay people to do it for. Like, what we really uh, need is like a like a middleman. Yeah, yeah. Of so sorts. We, we just need to show up and go into one channel, and then we don't do anything. Like. That's yeah, that's. It. I mean, that's all you really kind of need. But at this point, it's just like it's not that we're lazy. It's just that we we you, we can't trust each other to do a, a decent stream if our we're lives stupid. depended on it. We're dumb. It's what it is. We're just idiots. Yeah, like I, 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 it, you put me in front of like an editing program, I'm fine. But like live streaming, it's like, uh oh. We're just here. Come all the Snapchats. I can't handle it. Yeah, I'm breaking down. Yeah, I'm breaking we're, down. So. We're good at making videos because no one because we have to figure it out. But here, yep, this is where you see the production magic happen, right? <laughs> Endless production magic. I mean, look at that half of a green screen. Yeah, and just like a background. It's so basic. Yeah, but me. At least it's not in a basement with ceiling tiles. You know, like. Yeah, out. I mean, uh, there's, there's a glorified life vest and Jesus cross and a mm -hmm. demo of NHL 94 in the background for, for just some cheap, like, background noise. What did you do on St. Patrick's Day? Did you get fucked up? No, nah, not really. I didn't even know it was St. Patrick's Day. That's how fucking old Saturday I was. Saturday is usually the parade day, and it's like a fucking shit show. I had worked in the city the last couple of years, and it was a fucking mess. Right, and you're like, I'm so never coming like, back to the yeah, city. Yeah, I'm not coming back here again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I can avoid it. See, I, there you go. One perk for being a full-time YouTuber. Key is, the key to drinking is to not do it when everyone else does, because everyone else is an amateur shack of shit who doesn't know how to handle their damn liquor. So they drink way too much and then vomit on the toilet. Mm -hmm. Keys moderation kids. Yep. I used to have if to you can't moderate people. yourself then don't drink That's right. If you can't control yourself, then you should do not do something that causes you to lose control of yourself Exactly. Yeah, you dumbass If you can't control your farts, then don't shit. That's right. Stop. Shitting. Yes. All right, let's start in with it. So you did you read one? We're gonna just have to start all over with the Snapchats because the first one you read had the mute cancer on it. Yeah, so, so it was the first Snapchat. It was from uh, Mr. Yolo Swaggins Yolo. for five dollars. Officially switching my NFL allegiances to Cleveland from since at least the Browns are trying. And honestly, I don't blame you. I think a few people are. I think the the Bengals have had like they're having apathy issues in terms of their fan base. They are having the worst off season. This is like <laughs> no. I'd say there are a few other teams that are having worse off seasons, but the Bengals are sitting around doing nothing. So it's like who's I, having a worse off season than the Bengals? The Giants, the Steelers. I would say the Chiefs, maybe because like they've abandoned their entire pass rush, and then Tyreek Hill might be suspended for a bit. Um, Ravens, Ravens. That might be an interesting one. Because they signed a bunch of old guys and they lost their entire defense. Yeah, I don't know. The Giants are having a terrible offseason. Let's just 
But yeah, at least they have picks. They have every every move that they are doing seems counterintuitive to everything that they say. They're like, yeah. <laughs> Steelers are just self destructing, and it's just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, and that's all, all right. you can really say about that. Beast of Metal, 1989. What's up? Breaking. CT, CT born, Connecticut born asswipe Joey Logano. Given national platform by NASCAR. Blast fan base for attendance rating problems. Opinion. If Joey wants to help ratings, he shouldn't race. He's cancer incarnate. If he wants something to blame for the ratings issues, he should blame NASCAR for its awful gimmicks. No one wants to show up because nobody knows what the hell's going on anymore. They need to brand it like they used to. It's come to the track, get wasted, and see some crashes. That's well. That's, they that's also had recognizable grow. drivers back then too. Mm-hmm. Look at all the talent they've lost, or the recognizable names at least they've lost over the past couple of years. Tony Stewart, yeah. Dale Jr., Carl Edwards, uh, Jimmy Johnson isn't what he was. Um, like even Janica, you Jeff could Gordon. argue that like at least he was like a viable name bobby labani um shoot, juan pablo montoya too. they need to bring him back yeah juan mm-hmm. pablo montoya now nah, we name. got enough of- oh well who are the drivers now denny hamlin um denny hamlin um yeah uh, brad keselowski keselowski Joey Logano, kevin harvick Bushes. kevin he's yep, about harvick he's still like there uh-huh. a kenseth is still there matt kenseth has been around true x Martin Truex, Brendan Gone, former Austin Georgetown Dillon. Hoya starting point guard. Bitch, you didn't know that. His daddy was yeah. rich. All right. Um, breaking. I'll, re- I'll just read. I'll complete the NASCAR set. Breaking. Kyle Busch wins cup race at Fontana. That's in California. Marks 200th combined with across NASCAR's three national series. Opinion. I like how he's... Uh, denoting his opinion this mark emblematic this mark emblematic of mindset that destroyed a generation of young talent before it developed Ooh, he's he's hating on kyle bush a little bit there because no yeah i mean at the end of the day it's also a lot to do with they can race in like three different like leagues and most of the time it it was a weird setup yeah they run nascar drivers ragged it's yeah. the reason why Rusty Wallace retired. I'm amazed, though. Because, you much... know, you practice throughout the week. You practice Friday. Saturday, you race in, like, a minor league circuit. Mm-hmm. And then Sunday, you race in a big circuit. And then you travel and do it all over again for a it's, while. It's weird because, like, a lot of the top guys like to race in that Saturday race to, you know, get a feel for the track. So it's Sunday and Saturday is, like, not that much different sometimes, you know? But I mean, maybe fifteen drivers turn over. But what do I know? Mm-hmm. I'm not just an observer. You want to read this next one? That I can, sir. I got uh, Mr. Um, a fun one here. Kevin Michael von Magnum. Mm-hmm. Raiders signed Vontez Perfect to a one-year contract. That sounds like a shit show waiting to happen. Is that is that qualified information there that the Ra- I thought people were just joking about that. <laughs> no, that's yeah, that is uh, confirmed. Has been confirmed by multiple sources. The Raiders are like the Jets. Like the Jets always do Jet shit. Raiders gonna Raider. Like they just yep. Especially Raider. with a uh, certain Antonio Brown that he decked, and then Antonio Brown went out a year later yelling about karma. So um, yeah, and now they got to make a video with them holding hands like uh like in naked gun you know something tells me i'm into something good like that little montage two of them just woke up this morning feeling fine that's right it's gonna be antonio brown and vontez perfect just swinging around just like two little no all they need to do is bring in pac-man yep pac-man jones to complete the set hell yes i would love it and say I want to go to script club. I'll just go to script club. You know what I'm saying? Just go to script club. Mm-hmm. Joey just Porter in rebellion. Yeah, and then bring in Joey Porter as a strength and conditioning coach, and we'll just be there. Mm-hmm. All right. No, they I, bring him back as a linebacker because that's uh-huh. the Raider way. Yes, that is the Raider way. I like this one. This next one. Eighteen. Brian Huang, five dollars. What if Virginia loses to Gardner Webb in the first? I don't think it's possible. I we just, sit and dance. Yeah. 
I don't I don't think it's possible. Virginia would be stripped of all credibility. Like I I you'd have to just give up on basketball if that happened. You know. Like, be a hilarious failure. And then Tony Bennett would have to be fired. But I don't understand. Cuz that's the second year in a row you've lost to an right. embarrassingly bad team. But they get Gardner Webb when there's some sh- real shit teams in the first four. There's some sub 500 teams, you know, barely 500 teams. Like, why can't they just give them a fucking shit show at number 16? You know, you probably be... got lucky in the championship. That's probably why. Yeah. Are they like the 16s? Mm-hmm. That's probably why. There's some. Well, yeah, I guess because they didn't get a number one overall seed, they don't get a, a play-in game for the first 16. But there's there's some shit teams like Prairie View. Come on. Prairie View A and M. Yeah, they're in the dance. Did they win their championship? That's the only reason I can think yeah, of. Yeah, something like that. That probably that's the only way a team like that can make it in. Yeah. Belmont and Temple are our first four teams. Like the Fairly Dickinson. <laughs> that's Fairly. and that's really weird because they're making Fairly Dickinson fly across the country to play Gonzaga, but Gardner Webb, I think, is in North Carolina and they are playing Virginia. So they are kind of stacking the deck against Virginia. Like they're, they're daring them to lose. But the thing with Virginia is if they get behind, they cannot shoot themselves into a game. They just, they will, they have to get ahead of somebody and just slowly bleed them to death. They can't. Aren't they built for defense? Yeah. Yeah. They have to like get out in front by five points and just, and just wear somebody down. They don't score. Like, if they get down early, they can't – they're not good at coming back is their problem. They don't have that kind of offense. So, how about you read these next couple – well, no, I, I like that because it kind of leads into the bracket I've got here in the background. And I am going to throw in the tournament bracket. I think I copied the link here real quick. Mm-hmm. I, I sent an invite out to everyone. Yes, here it is. Boom shaka laka. Whoever we got was invites. Yeah. Whoever was in it before last year, we had forty three members last year. So this year maybe we'll get a hundred people to enter the bracket. Uh so I want to start filling out mine. I've got it over here. I don't care what if y'all know my picks or not. You're gonna find them out eventually. But how about I do this east bracket in the background here and you read a couple snapper chats? How about that? Yes, sir. And then sir. I'll go over my picks. That's what I can do like, for you. Quick, quickly, all right? Where, where, that where I can do, at? sir. Tucker White, 94. That's Thank what. you, sir. Welcome back, my man. It's time for another Preds update. Preds 1, Leafs 0. And so far, it looks to be keeping around the same pace. Preds 1, Leafs 0, about 918 the second. Nothing really out of the ordinary so far. Pens and Canes are tied at 1. Uh, a lot of key pieces in the Metro. So that's the key. Like, Boston's whipping on the Isles. I mean, just whipping on them. Yeah. Canadians. But aren't the so, Isles back in first? They were for a second, Yeah, they're right? tied for first now. But Washington's beating New Jersey 4-1, to one, so it looks like they'll be able to take it back. Yeah. I'm looking like chalk right now. I'm very chalky. Mm-hmm. This is very a, chalky. Yes, very chalky. I like Mississippi State. Don't like – oh, man. LSU is not going to go very far because their coach is like – Just for gonna, that, they'll probably go to the Elite Eight. Right, right. But they're embattled <laughs> in scandal right now. Willie Wade was like, you know, trading cash for players and shit. Dude, who isn't involved in scandal Nobody. with the NCAA? Mike Krzyzewski is involved in scandals. Come on. Let's, do you think Zion William just pick, Williamson pick, just picks Duke? Okay. No, he picked them because they probably gave him the most cash. Yeah, yeah. And it's not in a way that Mike Krzyzewski, like, would ever be caught. But, you know, like, it, the, there's everyone in the industry is like, come on. Do you really think that you know how this – you you think that this doesn't work that way? Like, uh-huh. Is, people mm-hmm. are involved in scandals. They just – or they never get caught. Jimmy Bayheim had a whole 10-year thing, and, and he got caught, and everyone just glossed over. They're like, eh, hey, you, you can coach. You're a good coach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we, you got to miss nine games, okay? You've been cheating for 10 years, but nine games ought to do it. All right? Don't cheat again. Don't go back to whatever it was you were doing. 
We wouldn't want that to happen. <laughs> All right. What which snapper chat did you read next? I did not. I just did the uh, Tucker White one okay. so far. Mick Dio is back. Here's a good one yeah. for the memes. For we just got Fitzpatrick. <laughs> the tank bowl is ours. Miami Dolphins number one. My friend, I hate to inform you, but here's the Fitzpatrick formula. You make you think they're good for a tank, but he's going to be good for at least uh, three or four wins in the beginning, give you false hope. Then he'll struggle, get benched, and then he'll come back in a few weeks in and lead you to a six or seven win campaign, thus fucking up your tank. That's what Ryan Fitzpatrick does. Yeah, yeah. What he does is he likes to make whoever the incumbent starter is or was or who they thought they were very insecure for like six weeks. And then, and then he proves to them that they're better than him. Like he's like the perfect, like in between quarterback, like, Oh shit, Ryan's going to take my job. And then he does. And then he's like, give me my fucking job back. You know, like (laughs) I can play better than this scrub. Like that's, he's, he's just, he's just training. They, they tell him to do that. They're like, don't be good all the time, Ryan. Don't be good all the time. Uh, who's but who's gonna sit behind him? He's not the starter in Miami. Well, Tannehill. There's like done. Jake Rudock and uh, some other guy. They're gonna draft somebody for sure. They, I think they're shooting for next year's draft. Oh, Trevor I think Lawrence that's the one they're or Tua. At. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, looking for yeah. Tua. Yeah, the Giants are doing the same thing. That's why they're playing Eli Manning one more year because they're like, we Stupid. want Trevor Lawrence. We want that hot chick Trevor Lawrence from Clemson. That is stupid. Uh-huh. Yep. I'm sorry. That it. Why not? They're gonna. There's no way they could put together a roster for next year that would be competitive. Not with old ass Eli. Like Eli's done. Okay. Eli's been done, but they're trying to like forgive him for benching him that one time as a power trip. They don't need to be- forgive him with two seasons as a starter. Next year is the year that he. This is his farewell tour, and they probably have all sat in a smoke filled room, like. Hey, look, we know you suck. We want you to finish your career. We're going to try to get you to 8-8 eight and eight or something like that, but uh, we prefer that you go 4-12, and 12, please. You know, maybe you finish 8-8, eight and eight, or if, if it looks like you're not going to finish your career over 500, we'll bench you at some point. That's what will happen. <laughs> All right. I want to read this next one. Brett Smart Productions. That's a new one, I think. I think so. Brett Smart Productions been presents a Cubs, Yeah, been a, a Cubs fan since 2015. Any thoughts on me? Well, what you should do, Brent Smart, Brett Smart, is you should also like Manchester United in, in uh, soccer, and then you should root for Brazil in international soccer. I'm surprised you're a Cubs fan. Shouldn't you become a Yankees fan instead? Like maybe switch that up. And then either like the Warriors or the um, the Lightning in hockey, I think. Awesome. Well, the Cubs have been crying poor about the luxury tax. So, what have they done to nothing? Yeah, they haven't spent four hundred million dollars on their own player, so they can't complain about the luxury tax. They're about to get. I think every team is going to get money from the Mike Trout deal. Is that right? Like, Pretty much. I can make the argument for that. Every team, the oh, the entire league should thank fucking the uh, Angels for putting money like, oh, not only are you going to pay him some ridiculous amount of money, you're just going to pay all of us too because apparently you shit 20s, Artie. Right <laughs> all right, let's look at my picks here. This is the East Regional. I got Duke pretty much going all the way against Michigan State. There you go. And the only real upset I have is um, I should I want to pick Yale over LSU. I might do that in another bracket. Mm-hmm. All right. So you read the next the next couple snapper chats. Get some snap chats. Yeah. Uh-huh. For before I'm sorry for Louis Bowie fifty five. Louis Bowie. Louis Baba Bowie Louis Bowie. Yes. Update me about March Madness and love y'all channel. Can we update him, Mister Five Points? Uh, it's March and it's starting, they're starting to be madness. That's right. I, I could make the agreement for that. Yeah. That's what happened. Dodger of Zion. Mm-hmm. Once again. Every March when I used to work in corporate America, I would get like, uh, an illness around this time. I called it March sickness. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, I kind of got that yesterday and it felt yeah, weird. Yeah. Actual sickness is not good, but I would get Lots a fake of chills. one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. It's stupid. All right. Oh, someone's having some fun back there at the tree house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's their game night, like yep. always. Yeah. I think they're playing some meme game or whatever. Some meme game. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, should I pick? But on a broader note, Dodger of Zion, here's hoping South Carolina can bring home another win title. Mm, maybe? Isn't it always like UConn and I forget who else? What? Well, Tennessee used to be until Pat Summit retired. Yeah, UConn, no, U- Notre Dame is good. Notre Dame's the big one. Yep. Uh, but South, South Cal- Carolina, I think, is up there. Yeah, they're good. They got some fine women's. And I'm not talking about their looks. I'm talking about how they play basketball. You know, I'm not being sexist here. They got some very fine players at uh, at South Carolina. Mm-hmm. That's right. Like that girl on uh, Arkansas that hit four home runs in a game, in the softball game. She hit the cycle of home runs. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then she... Cycle of home runs. There that's you go. right. Mm-hmm. You got to watch it when you talk about women hitting their cycles. All right, go ahead. (sighs) Amigdio's back. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Penguins. Here we go. Pittsburgh's going to the Stanley Cup. Mm. No, sir, they're being eliminated in the first round. That's what's happening. Yeah. They can't keep a lead worth a damn. I'm sorry, boys. I I, I feel. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, you can't blow, like, those games you should have won against Philly and give them four points. I'm sorry. I feel like you lose to Ottawa draw, twice. Yeah. You lose to New Jersey twice. It's, it, they're too inconsistent. You think they're turning a corner and then they'll just shit the bed. I feel like they're going to draw the Caps. I just feel like that's going to happen and it's time. Yeah, and I think the Caps win because the Caps have looked really, really good. And they got that monkey off their back. They're just like, yeah, we know oh, how to beat you. We know how to beat you. As crazy as it sounds, ever since the Caps won the Cup, I don't feel anything towards them. I only wanted them to lose because of the memes. No, you'll... I was just like, oh, cool. You'll start hating them when the series starts. You'll be like, fuck these dudes, man. Fuck these dudes. Like, you're just... I don't know. You never root against your team. You, you're oh, just, God, no. I'm not rooting right. against the Pens. You're just apathetic. They just, I'm just trying to be realistic. They don't. They scream first-round playoff eliminate. Right. No, you're just trying to be apathetic now until the passion comes. That's yeah, when, and then April's going to come and we're all going to die. Yeah. Well, my team will already been on the golf course for a solid month. They can show Crosby around and just be like, here you go. This is with the tee box here. And... uh that's where Alex Ovechkin used to hang out, but now he's out winning cups and playing with them. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, I want to read this last one, and then um, I will go over my picks very quickly. Before you love shine, two bones. Overall better NFC trio. San Francisco, Green Bay, Dallas, or LA Rams, Chicago, New York Giants. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. I'd have to go San Francisco, Green Bay, Dallas. Yeah. San Francisco is a major dumpster fire right now, though. San Francisco's weird. Like, they throw a lot of money around. Like, they've been throwing it around. See, again. The way he's done it, though, he's got he's got one, one dumpster fire team, one in-transit team, and one playoff team with a NFC champ, a playoff team that should have advanced to the championship Sunday and then or or at least division Sunday and then a complete tire fire in New York. So I feel like it would have been like I feel like it would have been better if it were San Francisco, a Dallas and New Orleans. That would have been more intriguing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's clear though, overall better e- even with uh the Giants tag, you know, with their saddle strapped to a dog like the Giants, the Rams and Chicago still outweigh how terrible the Giants are. You know, they're just... oh, Penguins scored a goal. Oh, yes. all right. So here's my Let's picks again. One. I don't see Gonzaga getting to the Final Four because they're a bunch of frauds, and then Michigan is going to the Final Four. I did pick. Uh, I don't know whether it'll be ASU or St. John's, but I think St. John's will beat Buffalo in the first round. Mm-hmm. All right. So keep a reading the Snapchats. Oh, I can read those super chats. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. And I'm gonna say super chats because I'm fucking hardcore chats. like yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. You're pretty hardcore, dude. 
Fuck hardcore. yeah. Exactly. Oh. I like just like Beast of fucking metal yeah yeah 1989 correcting us but plans to go to raleigh fell through so now i get to gripe about nbcsn showing a game where one team is mathematically out of the playoffs from my pad i think they're playing washington new jersey right yep they are oh, i mean yeah. new jersey's getting wrecked they've had some really bad matchups because i guess they started they scheduled them at the beginning of the year yeah but and they, they thought new jersey was going to be better yeah i i have like they, they thought taylor hall wasn't going to get in and they just like Straight up tank. Now the Vegas played the Sharks the other night. That was a good game for midweek oh, games. That was a fantastic oh, game. Vegas is looking to turn a corner. They're really starting to click. Starting to turn it on, man. Because they have, you know what? When well, you're a new I mean, team like that, if you're looking at advanced statistics, the best line in hockey right now is Pacioretty, Paul Stastny, and uh, Mark Stone. Wow, what a move no, for no, Mark Stone, huh? Yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, if he keeps that up, I mean, I don't think they're going to miss Brandstrom all that much. Yeah. I mean, no matter what Brandstrom could be. Sometimes you got to cut bait, you know? Sometimes you got to cut bait. That's right. All right. Yeah. Uh, Tagur89. I read somewhere that Nationwide Arena is apparently haunted and or cursed. Given the Jackets' lack of success, do you think these stories are true? No, they're not true. No, nah, uh, Columbus in general might be haunted just because of Civil War memories, but it's not haunted. Mm. It just built that thing in the '90s, right? Yeah, Nationwide Arena is not old. I think nothing's haunted though. Like, you, how can you? How else can something be haunted? It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, things can be cursed, but I don't know about haunted. I think that superstition and haunting, like you know, it's kind of in believing a seeing, you know. You want to believe it's haunted? Yeah, it's haunted. I just blew your mind. But anyways, <laughs> you get to read this next one. Oh, that I can, sir. That I can. Cancer. John Fitzgerald, balls, fucking a. Yeah, that is one of the greatest Snapchats we've ever received. I think we should just cut it off, right? We should turn monetization off now and just drop the mic because he's paid two dollars. That that is amazing someone put two dollars towards us just to, for to make us to put the word balls in our mouths fucking brilliant dude it's brilliant mm -hmm. like i have i don't know if you can one up that i mean tie fighter might have to uh do it one more um calling it now gardner webb for ncaa champs or at least upset virginia it's that's bold it is still mathematically very unlikely that a 16 can beat a one. And now, but if any team it can happen to, it's, it's Virginia. Why would the they give they... them a number one seed if they want to do that to them? Like they, they are worth the number one seed. I think, I think. All th three ACC teams got the number one seed because they were all like loaded. Yeah. They lost to another ACC team in Florida State who might also make a deep run. I just, I don't know. And Florida State lost to fucking Pitt. So, the, yeah. yeah. The thing is, is if, if you just shoot, if you can shoot and hit your threes in the tournament, you just get hot and you can beat anyone. Anything can happen. Except for, like, uh, North Dakota State beating Duke. That's that's not happening. That is not happening. <laughs> it's not. Uh, I like Oregon there. I like UC Irvine. Ooh, no, that's too sexy. Too sexy. Okay, go ahead. Read the next one. All right. My Sorry. friend, um, Eli Arbizer, what are your thoughts on Pitt's head coaches? Are we talking like Pitt athletics or profession? But, I mean, I'm guessing at Pitt, at, at, like University of Pittsburgh. Yeah. I don't mind either of them. I think Narduzzi has his flaws as a tactician. I think he's all right, though. My worry is he's probably going to go back to Michigan State, just like everyone else. They just leave. And I like Apple. I mean, he's got a lot of work to do, but at the same time, I mean, he shows a lot more promise than Stallings did. I mean, all you really need is a big man and depth, and you might be able to compete. They went on like a deep like losing streak for a while, though. Which, I mean, it, it kind of made sense, but they've got work to do. That's all I got to say. Oh, <sighs> sorry. All right, I'll read that's this cool, man. One. Sorry, you're boring me. No, I'm kidding. I'm just, I know. I I I've get been, it. I mean, it's fucking pit. What do you expect, dude? All it is is. Boring. I've been working on this triggering all sixty-eight teams all day, man. All day. 
trying to get it yeah, out. Yeah, man. Uh huh. Eli yeah, Arbiza. That's what I'm probably going to be doing. Like. Yep. What are your thoughts on Pitt's head coach? No, wait. You just read that. Uh, yep. Aiden C971. Two questions, FP. What was your actual reaction to my OBJ shirt post on Twitter? And to Tree, since our teams are facing off, how are you liking the game? Through th- a game. Uh, I thought the shirt was funny. Like, I just... <laughs> So OBJ uh, is it yeah, him being on a shirt? You bought a, I think he bought a Beckham jersey in honor, a uh, Giants Beckham jersey in honor of him, even though he's a Cleveland fan. I think that that's right. Oh, but, yeah. So I wonder if yeah. you'll see some Giants Beckham jerseys in Cleveland next year. You will, you will, because those things are fucking expensive. You know, that's why I don't. I I just buy a Giants jersey. And I put double zero on it because that's how many uh, wins we're going to get next fuck. year. Hurricanes just tied it up. Yeah. You already blew it. Everyone was saying don't blow it. Everyone was saying don't blow it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I told you. These guys blow multi-goal leads like it's nothing. Yep. They did this yesterday too. This team cannot be trusted with a lead. I'm sorry. This team's getting knocked out in the first round. Painful when it's like that. you know. Easy rebound from Murray. Just right on the doorstep. Mm-hmm. Latang no missed his assignment. Really? So it's just like, oops. Yeah. Like Justin Williams had a wide open net. Mm. Those well, rebound goals, like you can only, I mean, those are usually like the goalie has got to do better, you know? Like he's got to deflect that off to the corner or something. I don't know. I didn't. Play it's goalie. tough to do though yeah, in that it regard. Is. It is. At least he doesn't flop like a giant fish in the 80s. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Okay. All right, I got Villanova somehow in the Final Four. I don't know how I did that. (laughs) But I don't trust Tennessee. I don't trust Virginia. Like, I just feel like... Nova has been successful, though. You have to realize I feel like Jay Wright somehow gets them to the Final Four. All right. Sounds Um, about right. Read this next one. I'll fill out the bracket some more. That I can do, sir. But, um, yep, before you love shine, the better AFC trio... Oakland, Cleveland, New York Jets, or Denver, Pittsburgh, New England? I got to go Denver, Pittsburgh, New England. Like, Cleveland looks good now, but that's all on paper. Like, Oakland, Cleveland, New York Jets, they invested a lot in free agents, but history with Oakland and the Jets and free agents, it just does not work out. Yeah. Uh... Like, Denver may be mediocrity defined, but they're mediocre. Pitts had a history, but they self-destructed. New England is New England. I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention to a word you said. Sorry. I was trying to figure out where it's cool. where Louis. And the Carolinas on the power play, so I'm expecting a totally blown lead now because this is how they do things, and Pittsburgh can't score on the power play for shit. Pittsburgh. So if we're lucky, we'll get the pity point. Yeah. No. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out this bracket. There we go. North Carolina, and it's going to be North Carolina versus Duke, and the score is going to be 85-80. There you go. Boom. Bracket's done. And uh, update, um, Beast of Metal 1989. Matt Kenseth, uh, Matt Kenseth retired last year. I forgot about that. Yeah. I thought he was still there. Shit. All right. I'm going to enter this bracket. So there's another. I want to win the billion dollars. There we go. Ooh, you're going to win a billion dollars. Are you yeah. going to donate some of that to me? Mm-hmm. No. The perfect bracket. I donate you're like gonna a couple in a hundred. new dryer because I, that's what. I'd pay for an keep... editor. That's what I would do. <laughs> would that be enough to pay for an editor, though? <laughs> I know, I'm not sure. Not sure. Um, all right. So Matt Candace retired. Clay, uh, did you say this one? Clay Something Matthews white? to Crunky Land. No, is, I did not. Is that real? No. Clay Matthews. Yep, he's returning home after signing oh, a yeah. deal with the Rams. Clay Matthews headed to Rams. Wow. They are yeah. doubling down on themselves. They're getting old people, man. Yeah. I mean, they've lost a lot of talent, though. I mean, Joyner's gone. Barron's gone. Uh, Dominic Sue's still a free agent. Do you see um, the guy, the uh, Sean McVay's get back coach, got charged with sexual battery or something? Yes. Yeah. He, he, I think he needs his own get back coach. Yes, yes. Or he was grabbing, <clears throat> he, he had just taken his work home with him. You know, he, he decided to grab strangers or. Just keep them away from the trophy, from the side. Maybe. 
That's right. Wow. So Clay Matthews is going to become Sean McVay's like pawn. He's going to be like the uh, the situational pass rusher, and then be charged with roughing the passer repeatedly. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Bef- Sorry, I'm getting, uh, my voice getting is getting clogged. Sick. Up. I think you're getting me sick through the microphone somehow. That I can do. Uh huh. Before you love shine, two bones. Randall Cobb to the Cowboys. Packers become queso. <laughs> <clears throat> Packers become queso. Yeah, cheese. Well, I mean, the Packers had actually invested money in free agents. I'm honestly shocked. Yeah, but they lost their two best players. Sort of. Not Aaron Rodgers. But Randall Cobb player. wasn't really doing much, yeah, though. He, he was, like, it's more Devontae Adams. He had lost a step. Clay Matthews, you thought he would be in the middle forever in the... Uh... In, in Packer land, but now he's gone with this greasy hair. Maybe maybe he can fool the refs with a new color uniform into thinking that he's not Clay Matthews every time he roughs a passer. You know, like, hey, we thought you were that guy on Green Bay. And he's like, nah, dude. I'm, not, I'm, <laughs> right. uh, I'm, I'm lay math clues. All right. Nick DeGeek. Hey, Nick. Very sorry. We didn't read a Snapchat from you last week. I think that happened. I think we didn't read it in time. He, like, retracted it, or maybe we just mm. glanced over it. That, but... That's possible. I yeah. mean, I it happens. Yeah, I, I'm it's very possible. sorry about it. Uh, yeah. We uh, get distracted too easily, brother. Yeah, we so. suck, man. We're ter- we can't even run the show. I'm amazed that we can even read your Snapchat without dying. Um. Let the let's go Gophers. Woohoo! I'm su- I'm assuming Minnesota, right? Why yeah, do Rams? Minnesota Golden Gophers. Why do Rams sign Bortles? Because everyone needs an underperforming backup. That's right. The Rams because, signed Bortles because they want to pretend that they have the pedigree. They need someone to identify with Jared Goff, someone who's like a failed quarterback, so that he can show Jared, like, hey, you don't want to be this guy. All right, that's what he's he's. They should bring in Ryan Leaf for those purposes and just be like Jared. This is going to be you if you don't make some passes, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you don't learn how to adjust your play after the headset goes off, you're going to become Blake Bortles. That's right. All right, you got this next one? Whoa, yes, sir. You're drinking. Sounds like Sorry, I'm drinking some water. Yeah, you're drinking. Evan Escher for $5. Oh, sorry, did I miss one? No. Plays like a recruit. Did you do that one? Oh no, we did not play. We did not do plays like a recruit. My bad. Oh, sorry about that. Plays like a recruit for five dollars. Green Bay loses Clay Matthews to Rams and Randall Cobb to Cowboy. Have a five spot while I cry in front of my Aaron Rodgers shrine. But you signed all those free agents. You signed Zadarius yeah. Smith, Preston Smith. You signed Adrian Amos. You signed uh, Billy Taylor. You signed. You invested like one hundred and eight, like forty, fifty. Uh, what is it? Like one hundred eighty-five million. Or something yeah. like that in free agency? Yeah, like, you like, you did more in free agency than you did in a decade, which is honestly shocking. Yeah, somebody had to walk, right? You couldn't you couldn't pay that high-end I mean, end Clay power. Matthews wasn't what he was, and, Clay, and Randall Cobb, I mean, he had been replaced. Yeah, well, Clay Matthews is, got a roughing the passer while he signed the contract. They were like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm milking that joke. I'm milking it. All right. Evan Asher. 15 yard penalty. That's right. Uh, I heard a good joke. I, I'll, I'll say it later. Evan Asher. <laughs> I, I got to wait for a, a setup for it. I got to find a way to move it in here. But I'll, You'll I'll, find a way. You'll force it through. I'll, get, I'll force Slide it through. Right yeah. on in. I'll, 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 I'll be like that train gif. Just forcing itself into the tunnel. Uh huh. What was with that dude's cat? What happened with this, that guy's cat? allegedly oh he apparently like came on his cat oh shane dawson yeah shane dawson apparently it was like from uh something like 10 years ago no like it apparently resurfaced oh boy it's weird (laughs) you don't want people watching your reviews of video games i'll tell you that oh dear god start deleting those the fat man judges so oh dude that that stuff's on an old channel i got rid of that shit yeah Uh it'll come up don't worry and they'll, they'll find some random shit, and I'll be, like, shamed to oblivion. Mm-hmm. I've never said anything offensive in my life. so. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you're half Asian. You can get away with I it. I know. I can get away with lots of things. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, 
Why, Evan Escher for five bones. Why does Ryan Reeves not get the same criticism from the fans and media as Tom Wilson? Because Ryan Reeves is likable. And Tom Because yeah, Ryan Reeves beat the shit out of Tom Wilson. Right, right. Uh, you Ryan, do that, you become a hero, and it doesn't matter how you do it. You don't see Ryan Reeves spearing people in the back as they come across the blue line. Like, his job is to be tough, but he does it to the other tough guys, and he checks into it. You know what I mean? Like, he's not looking to hurt people like Tom Wilson is. Tom Wilson does some dirty shit. So does Chris Kreider, which I admit, and I'm a Rangers fan. Kreider gets reckless out there, but I don't think he's meaning to hurt people. I think Tom Wilson just likes hurting people. You know, <laughs> he might, he might. Tom Sound Wilson is actually right. really skilled. He scored twenty goals this year. Like, uh, he he could be a fantastic player. He just chooses to be a dick. <laughs> oh jeez. All, right. All right, you got this next one. That I do, sir. I got uh, Mr. Eli Arbiza for $2. And I- I'm going to immediately see the answers no. Tree should disown the Steelers for the Redskins. The answer's a hard no there, buddy. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nothing against the Steelers, but their organization's a shithole, and I have no interest in rooting for that organization. I'm sorry. Imagine being a Redskins fan. Fuck. I don't think anybody even cares anymore. I think Redskins fans have gotten to the point where they're starting to self... They're like Mets fans. They're just like, why do I do this? Why do I... Do well, this? look at their uh, look at who showed up against the Eagles. Like it was like their final game. Like the first, like the second row was excused, and here comes a goal. Nope, sorry. Wait, he actually saved them. Sure, but um, it, it, all you have to look at for their last thing was week seventeen. The second row was not even filled, and it was like half of the stadium was full of Eagles. It was embarrassing been that way for a while i've gone to a lot yeah. of giants games at fedex and, just to watch and fedex field and game. dan snyder wants a new stadium i don't understand it like why would you want to give him a stadium it's 20 years old and his brand is diminished because of the actions of dan snyder because he runs his team like a piece of shit he wants to rebuild like a modern rfk in dc but i don't why He's weird, man. He has this like hard on. Why, for why would you want to even build an RFK? RFK is just a generic multi-purpose stadium. He has this odd hard on for the days of the old Jack days. Kent Cook, yeah, and Joe Gibbs, and he doesn't realize that Jack Kent Cook was too busy like banging his mit- mistress to like care about the Redskins. You know, it was yeah. Hey, maybe they should bring back segregation. They were the last team to abolish it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's sorry i went there one. yeah okay that was a good one right there uh bring back segregation that for 20, in 2020 that's what we're gonna do just no more white players that's what... that's pretty easy to do though yeah yeah that that could work <laughs> for them um beast of metal 1989 Pens goal, pens goal, pens goal. Don't blow it. That was before they. Yeah, tied that's it up. that's a jinx. That's a hardcore yeah, jinx. That's a hardcore jinx. I, I knew that was coming, and uh-huh. and Carolina's on the power play again because uh-huh. why the fuck not? They're just uh-huh. passing the puck around like crazy. Hardcore slap shot. Murray's got to make a save. I'm surprised they haven't blown it yet, but they will blow it because they're the the fucking Penguins. <laughs> All right. Kevin von Ma- Michael Kevin Michael von Magnum. I'll read this one because this is personal to me. By the way, how did you like that damn son Auburn Tiger? Oh yeah, so uh, I bet Kevin, who was a Tennessee, who is a Tennessee fan, uh, that Auburn like a little screen name bet that Auburn would win the SEC the sex tournament, and uh, they won the sex tournament. So I made him change his avatar to the Auburn Tigers, even though. Truly, though, the team that I root for the most is not the Auburn Tigers. In college basketball, it's my alma mater, VCU. But I do like it when Auburn wins and Charles Barkley says things like terrible. That was terrible. All right. Oh, everything's hardcore terrible. Yep. All right. Read this next one. That I can do, sir. Mr. Beast of Metal. Five dollars. FPV should donate his maybe winnings to activism against the trend of neon red dye jobs unleashed by the combined forces of Nickelodeon and Ariana Grande. I don't know, man. 
I think they should donate to um to uh, glorious shit posting brigades. Glorious shit posting pr- brigades. Yes. Nice. Yes. How would I combat the neon red dye jobs of Nickelodeon and Ariana Grande? How would I combat that? Fluorescent green, Nike gear made in sweatshops, probably. Okay. Tie Fighter 94. Congratulations to the Tampa Bay Lightning for winning the curse trophy. Have fun with it on the golf course soon. I don't know. Tampa Bay, it looks like just the juggernaut. I just They look like a machine. Yeah. But you, my you know, issue machine. with Tampa Bay is like they've done this before. They've looked like a machine and then they've shit the bed. Like last year, for example. So I'm waiting until they reach the finals before I get on that hype train. I'm sorry. I'm just old memories. Yeah. I mean, Toronto is only going to be the one to get. Toronto has really, really struggled. As a... Yeah. I don't like, know. They've. Who knows, man? I just. I yeah, it, like, like that... Boston looks good, though. I mean, if they get healthy, they're like, well. It's the playoffs, man. Like that's the thing with hockey. In 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 coming. Uh, in a wide open. Oh, I thought if he got elevation on that, Carolina scores. Mm. The thing is, come April, the it comes down to a little bit of a lot of skill and a little bit of luck. And sometimes the less yeah. skilled team can win because they get a couple uh, bounces. You, know? you get that kind of a grind going. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. To, Tampa Bay looks very dangerous. They look really good. Mm-hmm. It's not like a team that you were worried about heading into the playoffs, but anyone can fall. Kirk Coble. Pittsburgh Carolina is going to a shootout, <laughs> FYI. A shutout. Kirk Coble, worst Stanley Cup winner of the last 20 years. Ooh. That's a toughie. Mm. Um, the 06 Hurricanes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be the that's the one bad. that really flares up in my mind. Pretty I mean, bad. that whole that was like an eight seed against the seven seed. They got past Edmonton, right? Like, that's, yeah, Edmonton. Yeah. Edmonton had no business being there either. Like, it was just, hey, who wants the cup? And pretty much, you know, pretty much. Um, it. We were um, thinking like, uh, I'm trying to think. Mm. Oh nine penguins were a little weird. Yeah, but they they were a good team. Yeah, but like they weren't the worst. I thought Detroit had that, honestly, but they just yeah they were injured. I think that was the main thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, I thought Cronwall and Zetterberg and the Magic Man. I thought they Marion. That was the Marion Hosa year too. Yep, Hosa. Yeah, they had a good squad, man. Just didn't happen. Um, you can read this last two, I guess, or next one here. Yep. My final four by Beast of Metal 1989. Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano. One, I'm expected to care about B ball when the NBA is a glorified shoe ad. It's not a glorified shoe ad, it's a glorified star display. Yeah, it's a glorified, hilarious watching of LA it's, it's, become a dumpster it's a fire. Yes. Yeah, the, I'm waiting on the Lakers for the summertime. Because really... let's real. I mean, like you get out. I mean, you know, Ron meddling in team affairs. Why am I not shocked about that? The NBA has definitely become a, sh- a, a soap opera versus actual product. It is more yeah. about. I, the I can't. I don't like the NBA. I'm sorry. I, mean, I cannot get into it. I like. I just keep watching. It's just like nothing but three ball, three ball, three ball. There's no like creativity or like game planning there. I pay so it's a, who can shoot the most threes. Yeah, I pay attention in playoffs because I like to see who wins. But, yeah, I'm not one of those fundamental just I have to watch the NBA tonight. But, I, you know what, if there's a good game, I watched Houston versus Golden State the other day. You know, it it, it got forcibly The team that chucks threes versus yeah. the juggernaut team. Yeah, it got forcibly interesting in the last minute because Golden State kept fucking up. And uh, Houston got all these fouls and made some shots, but it it, it was okay. It was okay. It was like a hand job. I'd rather watch hockey. Yep. All right, let's read those last one, and we we might end up on time here. For one. I'm shocked about that. Yeah, matchup for Lord Stanley that breaks Canada. Hmm. Vegas, I, Carolina. Yeah. 
<laughs> Vegas again versus the bunch of jerks. <laughs> no, how about how about like uh, Boston gets in there against uh, uh, like San Jose? You know, just two teams that have no ties to Canada. You know, um, they have a couple Canadian boys in there. Yeah, Joe Thornton, Joey Joe Thornton, Pavelski. Oh, not Pavelski. But yeah. I, Canada needs a rep in the final, like even to just get in the playoffs. Like last year, they, yeah. they even have a fucking team in the playoffs last. A playoffs. Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Two years ago, I like a couple years ago, they didn't have any. Playoffs. Yeah. I think it was like three years ago. Yeah, zero teams in the playoffs. Playoffs. They have. And this had is Canadian sport. Fi- When's the last team to get to the final? Calgary. Calgary was one. I'd probably say. Edmonton made a final. That was all oh, 13 was years six. ago. 13 years ago. Montreal got to a conference final. Vancouver. Vancouver, Vancouver was the last did. one. 2011. Yeah, yeah they, do, they went back to back. Yep. You're right. And then they destroyed their town. And they were like, Canada, we cannot have nice things. Mm-hmm. Your prime then they rioted and destroyed everything. The artist. Okay. Okay, come on, Gensel. You need to score Gensel, a shootout goal or else we're going to choke again. Come on, boys. And the uh, Hurricanes. Fucking hell. What happened? You lost it? Yeah, they lost in the shootout. Oh, so they didn't get the extra So point. they get the pity point. Uh-huh. Yeah. But the Hurricanes get to do the storm surge. Yeah, uh, they get to do that. They get to celebrate on the ice. They get to rise for the mm-hmm. national anthem. Uh-huh. Oh, man. You know, the other day... So, I-, I mean, but... But, I mean, people are, like, starting to come back. So, like, attendance is starting to increase a bit. Yeah, they're going to make the playoffs, man. I think they're, Arizona... They've got a shot. Arizona might make the playoffs. Arizona's a point up. I, I mean, you keep dissing me for Arizona, but they keep winning. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. They're doing well. They're doing well. I mean, people bitched at me for my Islanders pick in the preseason. It's like, how dare you not pick Philadelphia? They're terrible. It's like, uh, the fucking Islanders, they're going to suck. It's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, have you seen that uh, Netflix, the uh, Neverland Ranch Netflix? No, I never have. It's I hear it's really, like, fucked up what uh, Michael Jackson did. Have you have any of y'all seen it at all? In the, in the I've audience? heard about it. Yeah. I heard about it. I haven't watched it, but I did see there was this part where they said, like, after Michael Jackson died – uh, McDonald's did like a tribute sandwich to him called the McJackson. It was a uh, forty-year-old meat between eight-year-old buns. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about the uh, storm surge. What you y'all can buy? <laughs> Dead air fucking killed that joke. Hell yeah, man. There's a lot of dead air there, son. <laughs> dead air is just getting his commentary in. You should know that. Oh, hold on. We got the storm surge coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. This video is getting flagged. All right. Uh, storm surge. Bench. Yeah. Oh, here. What are they doing? Are they doing like a naked butt pyramid? What are they doing? I don't know. I mean, they're doing the skull chant right now. Oh. Are they doing uh, the uh, Odell Beckham getting traded? They should do that. Maybe. No, no. I think they're doing the Andy Brown. Oh the, oh, the AB? They're twerking out there? They should do that. No, they're doing their dye and the blue mustache and showing up late. <laughs> they should twerk like in AB on, out on the ice. Oh, they're playing Duck Hunt. <laughs> what oh, the fuck? <laughs> nice. They're fucking playing Duck Hunt. <laughs> nice. With a dog, too? Yeah, like they have like a NES on the Jumbotron. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna, that's going to show up in my Twitter feed. Who can hate this? Seriously. Uh, nobody. It's hilarious. Nobody. One time, they got to play Mario Kart one night. That's what they got to do. And just, oh, that's classic. No, they got to do Star do Fox and just do barrel rolls. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Kratsoff will lead the Rangers to glory, Christopher Glendening. I hope so. I hope so. All right, I think we can sign off, man. I've got... Yes, sir. I, I don't think I can get my triggering video out tonight. I'm going to have to release it. I'm probably going to premiere it tomorrow. That's what Ooh, I'll do. Ooh, premiere. I'll premiere there you it go, tomorrow sir. at like 7 o'clock. 
so that seven in the morning seven in the morning yes we're gonna do a premiere at seven in the morning that's right it'll be the least watch we're premiere gonna be ever. Up that. now i'm gonna do it at 7 p.m like right after you know in between prime time you know anyways um all right let's go ahead wrap it up tree you got anything to say nah man all right penguins can't hold the lead worth a damn and they're gonna get eliminated in the first round but that's about it all right well it's time to sign it off thank you everyone for coming out entering the bracket here i'll put it in the chat one more time here if you can hopefully you guys end up in my tournament and you know we do it all and just you know <laughs> tournament pick them five points vids is lame <coughs> there hashtag there bald Let, let's see how many people we have in right now we have oh shit we got a lot of members already yeah i'm gonna try if i can join up myself yeah. and i'll probably have the Don't last forget to get your picks in i made a whole video on that uh-huh okay so all right i'm gonna go ahead and sign off i'm five points vid stay classy and you made it to the end of this video